Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. The today's lecture is on epidermal stem cells. Okay, this is about epidermal stem cells. If you see, what are these epidermal stem cells? These are multipotent cells. These are multipotent cells and they help in formation and differentiation of functional epidermis that is all the keratinocytes uh, their transformation from stratum basal to stratum corneum occurs with this okay so uh, where are they present actually where are they present so for that we'll just draw a diagram okay um, Okay, we'll draw a diagram so that it becomes easier for us to understand where these epidermal lattice cells are actually situated. Okay, first. This is stratum basal. Okay, these are the stratum spinosum. Then I'm just drawing smaller version. Stratum granulosum. Then stratum corneum. This is stratum basal. Right? And after this, you'll have the hair follicle. This is the hair follicle. Sorry. The hair become bigger. Bigger than this. I'm sorry. Sorry for this. Okay, this is hair follicle and after this hair follicle, uh, this hair follicle is connected to a sebaceous gland. So, this is the gland, sebaceous gland which I have drawn and to this gland duct, it is connected to the hair follicle and it opens outside through the duct along with the hair follicle. Okay, next there are also some other, this is sebaceous gland, sweat glands which open outside directly right this is one thing next so to see where these cells are present okay so these cells these epidermal stem cells are present in basal layer of epidermis so i'll draw these epidermal stem cells in orange okay this is one epidermal stem cell this is other epidermal stem cells this epidermal stem cells are present in basal layer of epidermis this is first site and it is present in the bulge region of hair follicle and where is where is the bulge region of hair follicle this is the hair follicle this is hair this is hair follicle so here in the bulge region of hair follicle you will contain cells that these cells are epidermal stem cells in bulge region of hair follicle right and one more region where they are present is at the base of sebaceous gland this is sebaceous gland the sebaceous gland and hair follicle region is here they are also present at the base of sebaceous gland right so these are the places where epidermal stem cells are present so what are the functions of epidermal stem cells the functions of epidermal stem cells help in regulation of epithelial stratification the epithelium of the skin is stratified squamous epithelium so this epithelial stratification from the stratum basal to stratum corneum is regulated by epidermal stem cells then the second important is hair folliculogenesis it is helpful in hair folliculogenesis and wound repair throughout life so these are the functions of this epidermal stem cells 
the places where these epidermal stem cells are present are called as nichi nichi is nothing but micro environment for these cells for these epidermal stem cells this micro environment where they are present are niche are called as nichi there are mainly three niches one basal layer of epidermis basal region of hair follicle and base of sebaceous glands thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you